What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday and as you can see I'm in the car on the road and normally I would be working right now but the trend during the 4th of July week is that it's really slow for my job. People are away on vacation, they're doing other things. So it's not really that busy right now. So what I've decided to do I'm going on a road trip. I am going to Barnes & Noble because as we all know, the Criterion sale is happening right now. All Criterions are 50% off. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to a Barnes & Noble that I don't normally go to because I heard that that particular store has a larger Criterion selection. So I haven't been there in a really long time and I'm gonna see what is available. I have gift cards in my wallet and I am ready to spend some money today. I have to do something. If I'm not working, I might as well go out there and make a Criterion video, right? So that's what I'm doing today. So come shopping with me and let's go find some Criterions. Here we go. I made it over to Barnes & Noble. Really curious to see if they have a full selection of Criterions, so Let's head on in there. I'm excited. All right, so I'm inside of Barnes & Noble. We do have 50% off the Criterion Collection. They do have this little display right here. I'm hoping this isn't it. <laughs> I'm hoping that we do have more options, but as far as this store, they do have Seven Samurai. Isn't this the second, I believe, as far as the collection goes? Yes, number two, if you guys can see that that is number two for the Criterion Collection. They also have Parasite. What is this one? Minding the Gap. I've actually never heard of that title. Tampopo. Chan is Missing. Mississippi Masala. Oh, I might pick up this one because it does have Denzel Washington. So that one I'm considering. What's this one? Smooth Talk. Oh, I heard good things about this one too. I've always kind of bypassed this one. I'm not really sure why. So I may pick up that one too. They've got Do the Right Thing. What is this one? What's this title? Come and See. I have seen that one before, but I have no idea what it's about. Mulholland Drive, The Red Shoes, Portrait of a Lady on Fire and I can't read the ones at the bottom. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So we do have Criterions here, but I'm hoping we have a bigger selection. Here we go. I rounded the corner. That little display I just took footage of is over there. I came over, rounded the corner, and here are all the Criterions. It's not all the way down, but at least it's bigger than my normal store. So let's get into this and start looking. As you can see, they got the 50% off sign right there. And they do have ones up at the top, Branded to Kill, Baron Munchausen, Dazed and Confused. What's that doing there? The boys, that's not a criterion. Citizen Kane, The Girls, is that what that's called? Oh, it's a three film collection. That's what that is, okay three films. Oh, there is Thelma and Louise. I actually watched that film last night. It is an excellent 4K transfer. It is so worth picking up. Vampire, Tony, and then we have 65 with Adam Driver. So that's the end. <laughs> that's the end of the criterion. So we have two sections that we can go through. And like I said, this is much better than what's at my local store. So that's why I made the drive over here. It wasn't too bad. So what's this? We have Ali. Haven't seen that one before. An Angel at My Table. Haven't seen that one either. Munchausen, Munchausen, Munchausen. Plenty of these. Okay, we know what's there. That one looks weird. Interesting. <laughs> the Asphalt Jungle, Ashes and Diamonds. Anatomy of a Murder, All That Heaven Allows, Age of Innocence, I do have this one. This is directed by Martin Scorsese, if you guys are interested. Afterlife, Ace in the Hole. I think I have this one. I think Jasmine sent this one over to me, so I do have that one. 
This one is The American Friend. Never heard of that one. I'm seeing newer titles that I hadn't seen before. All About Eve. I do have that one. Still haven't watched it. I gotta put it on the list. Alright, what do we got here? We got David Lynch, The Art Life. That's a 310 to Yuma, I believe. I don't want anything falling over. Yeah, 310 to Yuma. 39 Steps, Alfred Hitchcock, 12 Angry Men. I have that one. I still haven't watched it. The 400 Blows. Okay. <laughs> All About My Mother. The Awful Truth. I think I have that one too. Arsenic and Old Lace. Army of Shadows. All right, up here we've got The Big Chill. I do have that one. I wasn't overly thrilled with it, but I gotta give it another watch. What's this one? Bo something? Not really sure. Being John Malkovich. I have it. I gotta watch it still. I'm trying to get through my Criterion movies. I'm really putting in an effort this time to start watching. All right, Barry Lyndon. The Battle of Algiers. Bamboozled, I think. Blow Up. We got several of those. Bring a Baby. I gotta watch this one. Katherine Hepburn. I don't watch a lot of Katherine Hepburn. They do have Bull Durham, but oh, it's broken. You guys can see it's broken. You can feel that. Can you see it? It's broken. So, not picking up that one. They do have Blood Simple. Blood Simple is such a great film from the Coen brothers. Francis McDormand is in here. Great film. Great, great film. Badlands. Blowout as well. I recommend Blowout too. Blowout's great. What's this one? Never heard of that one. Bottle Rocket. Being there. More Britain to Kill. Bicycle. Buck and the Preacher. I think I heard good things about this one too. That's a possible. That's a maybe. I'm planning on making a couple of trips so if I don't pick this one up this time, then maybe next time. We'll see. We'll see. What's this one? Bitter tears of something. Doesn't look like my cup of tea. All right. Blue is the warmest color. I'm being really extensive with this. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Brazil. Heard of that one. Breathless. Breaking the waves. Oh, this one's new. This is Chilly Scenes of Winter. Pretty new release. Not sure if I'm gonna get it though. Not sure, I'm not sure. Kind of contemplating. City Lights, I've always wanted to get like Charlie Chaplin, but I'm not sure if I would really thoroughly enjoy it. What's this one? Oh, Cooley High. I have heard about that one. Maybe, maybe. What else we got? The cranes are flying. A lot of titles I've never heard of before. Ooh, cat people. Look at that eye. That's a little scary, no? <laughs> cat people. Oh, here is Charade. I recommended this in my video yesterday. Audrey Hepburn, the only Audrey title in the Criterion Collection. I do recommend it. It is great. What's this one? Camera person? Never heard of that. Never heard, never seen. Carnival of Souls. Crash. And something with Buster Keaton. Alright, what do we got up here? I don't know if I could show that. All right. <laughs> Kronos. Mid-level media was talking about this one in a video recently. Maybe. Possibly this one. It's Guillermo del Toro. Hmm. I'm going to think about that one. I'm going to think about that one. Cure. Company. Ah, I can't reach. Okay. We got Dazed and Confused. I already have that one. Dead Man. Daddy Long Legs. That seems weird for me, so I don't think I'm going to go with that one. Alright, we got Daisies. We've got uh, Drive My Car. That was award nominated. 
deep cover, double indemnity, but I do have this one from Jasmine and it is the 4K, so I'm excited about that. Got this one, Devi. Dress to kill. Defending your life. I may pick this one up today. For some reason, I've just never picked it up. I don't know why. There's no reason, so maybe. This one's a high possibility today. It is Meryl Streep after all. She's the queen, so I should pick it up. Dreams and Devil's Backbone is here. What else we got? Detour? Never heard of it. Never heard of Detour. Oh, more Denzel. Devil in a blue dress? Possibly, possibly. Lots of Denzel. I like Denzel. I need to watch more of him. What is this one? I don't even know. Dog Me? Is that the name? <laughs> How do you... The Celebration? That's a weird cover. <laughs> Can't even tell what it is. What's this one? Destry Rides Again? I hate how the sticker like covers up the title of the movie. I have no idea what it is. Day Trippers. I was thinking about this one too. I've always wanted to pick it up and for some reason I've always put it back. Not really sure why. Maybe today? I don't know. We'll see. They do have Easy Rider. I don't think I've seen this at my Barnes & Noble. I do have the Steelbook, but I don't know. I'm kind of digging the criterion of it too. I'm kind of digging that. All right, I'm going to start going a little bit faster. <laughs> oh, Eve's Bayou. That's another one. I'm seriously considering. That's another good one. I haven't seen it, but I've heard good things about it. The Funeral. Nice and happy. <laughs> Flowers of Shanghai. They do have the Fisher King. I always bypass that one for some reason. I don't know why, but I always do. Francis Ha. I've heard about that one. Female Trouble. Fantastic Planet. I've heard is weird. The Friends of Something. Friends of Eddie Something. Fail safe. Flight of the Phoenix. I hope you guys are finding this entertaining. <laughs> Foreign correspondent. I do have this one. Jasmine sent it over, so I do have that one. They have this box. Look how hefty this thing is. Holy crap. The Furies. That is hefty. Really, really hefty. All right. Face in the crowd. Island, funny games. They got a lot of variety at the store. Way more than I had at my other store. Even when they had movies there. Christopher Nolan title. Christopher Nolan title. There we go. Following. For All Mankind. I do have this one. Jane Mansfield. That is Mariska Hargitay's mother right there. You guys did not know. A little trivia for you. Hollywood Shuffle this one's a possibility too. I kind of gear more towards modern day titles, more well-known titles when it comes to Criterion. I don't like to take chances. <laughs> Holiday. I do have this one. I have that one. Oh, In the Heat of the Night is so good. So good. Oh, of course, we've got The Irishman. Nice digi book with that. This is such a great underrated movie in a lonely place with Humphrey Bogart. This is a great movie. Highly recommend that for you guys. Imitation of Life. All right, what do we got over here? Kiss Me Deadly. More Charlie Chaplin. All right, let's speed this up a little bit. I feel like I'm taking forever, but you know what? It's a nice Saturday, and I said, you know what, if it's not busy at work, let me go buy some Criterions, so that's what I'm doing, and I'm going to enjoy myself today. No, oh, all of these titles I've never heard of. Lots of stuff, though. Ghost World, that's a, this one's interesting, it's very quirky, you got Scar jo, very young Scar jo. Thora Birch. I, what's my problem? I can't hold this. And then Steve Buscemi. 
if you guys couldn't tell. That's Steve Buscemi down at the bottom. <laughs> it's a weird movie. It's quirky. It's quirky. His Girl Friday. We got the Beatles box set. A little Criterion box set. They do have The Graduate. Now, I do have The Graduate on Blu-ray, but I'm kind of enjoying The Criterion more. I feel like maybe if I get The Criterion, I'll enjoy the movie more. Because when I saw it for the first time, I wasn't overly thrilled with it. <laughs> I was kind of bored with it, actually. I don't know. I gotta give it another chance. So I could possibly pick that up and enjoy it again. The game, just watch that one. Good morning. The Rolling Stones. Cool, cool. Temptation of Life. Happen One Night. I have that one. I have to do like a uh, criterion inventory before I go shopping. So that way I always know. All right, so that was the first section that I just <laughs> kind of quasi quickly showed you. So here is the other. Oh, here's another one I was thinking about. Love and Basketball. This one looks good too. So I'm thinking about that one too. All right, possibility, strong possibility. I have three gift cards to spend today, 75 bucks worth. So got a lot of stuff for free. All right, I have that. I think I have that one too. Miller's Crossing. I tried to watch this twice and I fell asleep both times. I'm not sure if it's a boring movie or not or if it's just me. So I gotta give it another chance. Oh, Moonstruck. It's Moonstruck. You guys know I love this movie. You already know. Pan's Labyrinth is here. Philadelphia. Ooh, do I have this one? I don't know if I have this one. I gotta check. It's Katherine Hepburn, Cary Grant, and Jimmy Stewart. I gotta check, I'm not sure. If I don't have it, I'm gonna pick it up the next time I go. Pick up on South Street. And of course the piano 4K. And we got Romeo and Juliet, which I don't have to pick up because Jasmine sent that over to me. And they do have DVDs here. They have DVD options here, which at my other store, they got rid of them completely, all the DVDs. So it's good to know that this is still out there. DVDs. All right. Stop talking, Susan. Just show off the criterions. All right. We got Servant. Oh, they got Silence. I'm so tempted to get the Criterion of Silence, but I already have the Kino Lorber. So it's like, do I get it again? I love the packaging. I really do. It's awesome packaging. It's just so nice. I got to think about it. One of these days, I gotta just get it. This is one I'm not getting, because <laughs> you guys already know how I feel about this movie. I thought it was horrible, but that's just me. All right, we gotta take out. All right, what else, what else? We got Velvet Underground, Videodrome, oh, Virgin Suicides. I kind of want to pick this one up, but at the same time, is it too depressing? I don't want to be depressed. Sometimes I'm already depressed enough, if you know what I'm saying. So like, do I want this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not now and in the future. War of the Worlds. I always love the cover. Wally. -E. It's Wally. -E. I love Wally. -E. I've seen it one time and I love it. Uncut Gems, I have that one. All right, we got The Worst Person in the World. Ooh, Wings of Desire. Yes, I was really thinking about this one too because apparently it's kind of like the original, um, oh, the one with Nicolas Cage and Meg Ryan. It's like based off of that one. I don't know, they're like related somehow. It inspired that one, I don't know, but it sounded interesting. What's this one? Written on the wind. We got Lauren Bacall. Ooh, possibility. Walker, War and Peace, Weekend. What's this one? The Wages of Fear. 
Don't these kids know I'm trying to film a video? All right. Tony Tendron. What is this one? Tokyo Story. Man, these have a lot. Of, this store has so many titles that I've never seen before. Uncut Gems, Uncut Gems. All right, we got Thelma and Louise. I already told you about that one. Oh, so there is a difference. The Blu-ray is just a regular, like, Criterion case. But if you get the 4K, it comes in, like, the Digi Pack. Well, that's nice. So that way you know the difference between the two besides the big honkin' silver sticker, you know? So that's good to know. We do have Time Bandits. Again, Blu-ray is regular. And then the 4K is this pretty cool lenticular. You guys can see that it's moving around so that's awesome all right I feel like I'm going long with this video so I've shown you the majority of everything here so I'm kind of just gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna look for myself now <laughs> to see what I want to pick up but that's mainly everything for the criterion titles that are here at this Barnes & Noble location so the next time you see me, I'm gonna be in the car showing you what I picked up. I am back in the car. I am done shopping for Criterions. As of right now, I am not done Criterion shopping for the sale. I may go back a couple of more times, but not at this location, at my local store because it's just more convenient. But it was really nice today to drive out to this location because like I said, I had the time, so I might as well do it. Here is the bag. I've got the goods secured right in here. How many titles do you think I picked up today? I didn't go overly crazy. I picked up six. Six is pretty good. Six isn't going overboard. Plus I did have $75 worth of gift cards. So that's pretty much three criterions for free. And you really can't beat that. So what did I pick up today? What am I adding to my ever-growing Criterion collection? All right, first off, I picked up Wings of Desire. Yes, this is the Blu-ray. They did have one 4K, but I chose just to pick up the Blu-ray because, I don't know, I just didn't feel the need to pick up the 4K for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but I figure I'll just go with the Blu-ray for this one. They're all Blu-rays. I didn't pick up any 4Ks. At least I don't think so. No, I did not. All right, so Wings of Desire. Then I went with Love and Basketball. I've been curious about this one. The past couple of sales, I've always really thought about it, and I just never picked it up. So I figure today is the day. I'm picking up Love and Basketball. Third title is Hollywood Shuffle. This one is only 81 minutes, and that's so refreshing because it seems like every movie nowadays is at least two hours, two and a half hours sometimes. So if there's ever a night where I just really wanna watch something super quick and then just you know go to bed right away, this is a great option. Hollywood Shuffle, and I've never seen it, so I'm very excited about that. All right, so that's three down and three to go. Next up, Okay, I went with The Graduate. I did pick up The Graduate. I'm gonna give it another chance, obviously, because it's a Criterion, so I'm gonna watch the darn thing. But I don't know, for some reason, the one time I put it in, I wasn't overly impressed with it, but I feel like maybe the Criterion, they probably worked on the transfer a little bit. Maybe it looks a little bit nicer than a regular Blu-ray. I don't know, we'll see. I like the packaging on it. <laughs> I like the cover artwork on it. So we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna give The Graduate another chance. I mean, it is a classic film for a reason. I wanna like the movie, but for some reason I just wasn't overly impressed. All right, criterion number five is The Player. Again, this is a criterion that I've seen multiple times, numerous times, over and over again in past Criterion sales, I've always looked it over for some reason, I never picked it up. So I figure I'll pick it up today, why not? Why not? And it's all about Hollywood and I'm interested in stuff like that, so I figure I'll enjoy it. Tim Robbins is in it, I like Tim Robbins, so I'll give it a chance. And the final pick, 
Yes, indeed. Defending your life. Defending your life. I finally broke down and picked up defending your life because like I said, with a lot of these, I always look them over and for some reason I bypass them. I never pick them up. I always go with other titles. So I figure I'll pick it up now. Meryl Streep. It was the only one there. I'm not sure if this one is at my store. So I figure while I'm here, I might as well pick it up. So those are my criterions. Let me show you again. Here's my criterion stack. There we go. For the first round of criterion shopping for July of 2023. When I go shopping again, I may just pick up like two titles here the next week, two titles here. So that way it doesn't seem as damaging to my wallet, if that makes any sense. But I definitely plan on picking up a few more titles. Like I need to pick up a couple of Denzels and I probably should have picked them up here. If I can't find them over in my store, I probably will hit this one up again because Mississippi Masala was here. Oh, I forgot about Ease Bayou. I hope that, see, there's so many titles. There's so many great titles, even though I know that's not Denzel, but I just got to thinking about the other titles I mentioned that I probably should have picked up. So those are the other titles. Over the next couple of weeks, you'll probably most likely see me picking up. So what do we think about Criterion Trip round number one? Did I do good? Are you guys proud? of these <laughs> comment down below and let me know if you've gone criterion shopping already what have you picked up and how many titles don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and i'll see you next time